What would you say your number one natural sales ability is that's made you successful in sales? And then the second part of that is what is a learned skill that you feel has made you a better salesperson since you first got into sales? Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, so the first part, I think I'm like a naturally goofy guy. I think I know I'm big, like I'm six, four, I'm covered in tattoos. So I think people see me and they're like, uh, but I'm like super goofy. My natural thing is I honestly, I, I like to think I, I actually make the sales process really fun. Uh, I'm never too serious. I'll give you the, I know my shit. And I, I show them that, that I know what I'm talking about, but I genuinely make the process fun. Cause I think it should be fun. And I'm, when I was a new agent, I would see, I'm just really good at communication. I, I, I'm a Gemini. I love meeting people. I love talking. Like my girlfriend, it drives her nuts. I'll go to the gym and I'll talk to like, I know everybody. Cause I'll just talk to random people. I'll go to a guy and be like, Hey, I've seen you like twice before. What do you, what's, what's your name? You know? And she's like, you're crazy, man. That's nuts. But I just like talking to people. Like I genuinely enjoy talking. I walk my dog. This actually happened. It was last night, two nights ago. I was like 9 30. I was walking my dog and usually it's like a five minute walk. <laughs> I didn't even realize, but I walked, I live at King in Portland mess but it's i know everybody down here and i walked it was a 45 minute walk i didn't even realize i came back and she's like what were you doing and i was like oh i saw like seven people outside i, I just started talking to people so anyways that's my uh my natural thing i think i just make it fun I, I like to communicate i'm not like an awkward person i just i enjoy communicating with people when i was new i would see like realtors with their clients in lobbies like not talking and i was like man like that must suck like that would be so <laughs> annoying so like, awkward uh, Oh, like, and then you got to like work, go see them again. You know, like I already know it's not like some people love it. Some people are just like, I just want to buy something, you know, like, let's just get this. I was like, if I can make it fun, I make it fun. And the second thing is uh, something I've learned is la the proper language to like sales language to actually properly close people or push them in the right direction. That was actually probably the biggest issue in my business up until honestly this year. Uh, I've taken a lot of courses uh, and a lot of like boot camps and masterminds and read a lot of books on the art of sales and the art of communication because you're not actually being, I always thought like if I was going to push you to, to, to close or be, I never wanted to be pushy because I hate being pushy, but there's ways to, to guide people in the right direction and, and help them make the right decision. If you use the proper language, because I find, I found I was having all these listing presentations. I was going in because of my bubbly personality and I was goofy and funny, but I knew my shit and I have a good, uh, you know, brand awareness. I go to these listing presentations and at the end I'd give them this amazing pitch that I've practiced so many times. And I'd be like, all right, well, call me. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, all right. And then I'd leave and I was like, why is no one calling me? Like, I don't understand. I'm calling these <laughs> There's no one calling me. And it's because, you know, like people need to be told what's going to happen next. And, if you don't tell them what's going to happen next, they're just going to sit and ponder and maybe someone else comes in after and does tell them what's going to happen next. So that's something that's learned for me is the proper sales language. And I think it's actually super important, especially if you don't come from a sales background, which I didn't. So, so for our listeners to give them that piece of advice, what, what book or what course or what program was that that you, you know, yeah. got this, you know, that made that change in your business just in the last year? Yeah, uh, his name's Dale Arkden. Arkden, it's a uh, script. Yeah. I forget his name. Uh, yeah, he's. Uh, I met him at Follow Up Boss events. Uh, he has like mini boot camps every once in a while where he'll just have like a mastermind of people, and you're just live scripting. So he'll be, he'll pick out people. You don't even have a choice. Like sometimes you get picked on, sometimes you don't. And he'll be like, hey, okay, uh, hey Dave, you know, thanks for the call today, but I'm gonna wait until fall. And then it's like, what's your go? And you're in front of like 30 people on Zoom and you just have to kind of make it. And he'll like literally be like, nope, don't say that. Say this. Don't say that. That's dumb. Say this. And they're American. And I find the Americans don't mess around. Like they're they're more like, you know, with their stuff. Uh, that what that his course is amazing. I can I think it's called Smart Scripting. It's his business. Um, yep. I could be wrong. Is it right? I think that's right. Anyways. Yeah. And then uh, Exactly What to Say by Phil Jones. There's, yeah. there's, a, there's a normal one and a real estate agent one. Uh, they're both kind of similar, but super easy to read. And they're like, uh, it's almost like a playbook. So the, the real estate one ha at the back has um, like cue cards almost where it could be like, okay, you're calling a, a FISBO or you're calling uh, whatever. Uh, the objection is this, say this. And it has like just little, little phrases and little words that you can use to like soften how you're doing things. And I think a lot of realtors right now, you know, maybe we do believe that right now is a good time to buy or right now maybe is a good time to sell for that individual client. Um, and 
people are on the fence right now. So instead of being like argumentative and just learning to actually understand where they're coming from and like asking the right questions to see why they have the, the, the reasoning that they have, you can actually like uncover a lot of information from them. And then you can proceed from there once you get to like the root cause of like, you know, everything they're thinking. So instead of arguing, yeah. like, well, if the rates are high, but it's not going to be forever. Prices are low. Like, well, you're crazy. You know what I mean? Like, don't argue with people. Just find out why they think that, where they got that information, you know, like peel off the layers of the onion and get to the root of it. And then you can kind of, you know, help them from there. Check out our YouTube or Spotify channel and don't forget to subscribe.